if you are in need of cheap Madden coins, go to MMOEXP.com. Be sure to use promo code Ryan at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description, guys. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pack and Play. I do believe this is episode number 7. Uh, get a little bit of sidetracked when I play a whole bunch in a row, so if I have the wrong episode, I'm sorry. I do believe it's 7, though. Uh, so we do have now... Um, so a little bit of upgrades here after that win that we had, the very first win. Uh, we do have um, a couple of pretty decent players on the team now. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, nothing crazy. Definitely still looking to get better players. I really need to get, uh, you know, some better defensive players for sure. Um, with the addition of using Ryan Chazier, that's definitely going to help me out a lot. And I know a lot of people want these to be, uh, you know, live commentaries. And, you know, at least for the next two episodes, I can't because I've already recorded them. Uh, but I will try out live commentary. I've never been the best at doing live commentary gameplay. So I apologize if I'm unable to, like, do it properly or whatnot. It may be a little bit boring, but I understand your guys' need uh, or want for me to record, you know, live. Uh, so we do have a wide open receiver here. It's Jerry Rice. Um, definitely finding the open, uh, you know, defensive, uh, you know, holes and whatnot that he's leaving me. Um, you know, Tony Pollard doing Tony Pollard things. Definitely happy to have him. Um, even though he's not the best running back, having a, you know, super speedy running back is definitely helping me out, especially, you know, with all the crazy defenders there are out there right now. I think there's like an 89 speed middle linebacker that a lot of people are using. Um, I think on the Buccaneers, I think his name is Devin White. So it's definitely nice to have a guy that, you know, I could at least try to beat him to like the outside or, you know, you know, find a hole in the middle and actually, you know, blow past him if I can. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that if I had to use Giovanni Bernard. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, yeah, we're already up seven nothing here on the opponent. And that is going to be a pack. Um, again, for the first, you know, little half of pack and play while I'm building my team. Every touchdown, every field goal, every interception, every fumble recovery will count as a pack. In my opinion, it's just the best way to get upgrades in this team without, you know, just winning a game and, you know, hoping that I get an upgrade out of the five-pack bundle. It's just a little bit easier for me to, uh, you know, gain packs throughout, you know, the entire game as well as, you know, winning the game. So um, he ends up marching down the field. He gets a touchdown, Torrey Holt. Um, which is another player that I'm considering, you know, maybe using on my team, Tory Holt, just because it's a starter card. Everyone has Tory Holt, and uh, he does technically come out of a little pack, um, and you know it is pack and play. So throughout the time that I, you know, am, you know, gaining levels and whatnot, I could upgrade that Tory Holt. So let me know if you guys think I should be able to use Tory Holt. If not, it's all good. I think it's all right though, um, just because it's a starter card. Everyone has it, and you know why not? Like. Uh, even though it is pack and play, um, you know, a lot of people want to see all the cards come out of like, you know, get a gold packs or, you know, promo packs. He does tec technically come out of the master pack. So I definitely think I should be able to use him. So uh, he does have the ball here again. 7-7. Seven, seven, he is marching down the field. Uh, Michael Vick ends up getting sacked here for a pretty decent loss. Loses a couple of yards here, third down and 14. Vic in the shotgun again, and he is, you know, just looking all day to throw. But we get Denzel Ward with the interception. That's another pack, so we're up to two packs now, uh, keeping track. And I do believe I made a little bit of a mistake at the end of this video when I, up, um, you know, opened my packs. I actually opened up less than I should have, uh, so we will go ahead and keep track here. And then for one of the, you know, more recent episodes that I do... I'll be sure to make up those packs in that video. So, uh, again, when I'm recording these all, you know, in a row, it's kind of hard to remember, you know, how many packs I need to open. Uh, but Sammy Watkins here is wide open, and we get the touchdown. Again, it's another pack, so we are currently up to three. If everything is correct so far, I do believe it is three packs. Uh, he gets the ball back here, and he has to go down the length of the field here in about a minute and a half which shouldn't be a problem for him. Um, his offense is all right. Uh, my defense isn't the greatest. Uh, so again, we are currently up three packs. That could have been a pick six right there, Ryan Shazier, but I wasn't able to get my hands on it. Uh, so third down and 10 now. He has all day to throw. Again, wide open receiver DeAndre Hopkins, and he's going to get the first down down to the 33. 
prime scoring position, minute 22 left, all of his timeouts. Michael Vick looking, again, pretty much all day to throw, makes a move in the backfield, gets it to Torrey Holt for the first down, gain of 10 on the play. Uh, one minute, seven seconds left. Michael Vick, again, a little bit uh, less time to throw on this play. Definitely pocket collapses on him, and he has to throw it away. Vick, again, looking. He has an open receiver on the drag, and that is Randy Moss. Breaks a tackle and gets out of bounds here. Uh, only gain of a couple. 56 seconds left. Michael Vick, again, in the shotgun, looking. All day to throw. Finds another check down, which is Le'Veon Bell. Down to the 12. He's going to run the ball here with Zeke and only get uh, a couple of yards here. Down to the nine. Fake handoff. Goes to throw it. RPO over to Torrey Holt. Down to the two. So now it's just a matter of, am I going to keep him out of the end zone at this point? And he gets in there. Torrey Holt wide open. I ran commit. He got the touchdown. And he goes and ties the game 14 to 14. So now coming out after half, I was a little bit confident that I was able to continue to score on him. But I needed to try to lock up a little bit more. Play some better, uh, better defense and, you know, contain Michael Vick. Try to get him sacked a little bit more, which we did right there. Daniil Hunter with the sack on the play. And now on fourth down, he's going deep. And I decided against going for the interception because I knew I'd get the ball at the 17-yard line. So that's exactly what we did. Tony Pollard, I had a touchdown. And again, you could, uh, you know, you can, you know, criticize anything you want in the chat. Because I definitely deserve it there. I had the touchdown. I kind of got nervous that that uh, cornerback was going to come down and get me on that play. And I kind of just messed up. Didn't follow my blocker correctly. And now we have to take a field goal. So again, uh, field goals, touchdowns, anything will count as a pack. So that is yet another pack here. So two for the scores. One for the interception. And uh, well, two for the touchdowns. That's two. One for the interception. That's three. And then one for the field goal, which is four. Um, so we're currently up to four packs to uh, upgrade the team, hopefully. Uh, he gets the ball here, throws it to Torrey Holt, down to the 47-yard line. Again, in the shotgun, Michael Vick is looking. All day to throw again, just throws it away. I don't know why. Uh, I guess he kind of felt the pressure. Hand off Ezekiel Elliott up the middle, and he's going to get a couple of yards here. Third down and four. Can he get the first down? Michael Vick again, all day in the pocket. I don't know what to do here. Do I go for Vick? Do I go on the receiver? And we actually get to him. We get the sack here on the play. Fourth down and five. Again, Vick is uh, having a little bit of time in the pocket, but he ends up having to throw it because the pocket collapses. And Shaq Barrett, new addition to the team, gets the interception, gets the touchdown. That is two additional packs. So we are currently up 20 Four to 14 again 24 is going to be three touchdowns which is three packs one field goal and now we have two interceptions so we are currently at six packs on the game um and we're currently entering into the fourth quarter here after this play unless he throws an incomplete pass which i do believe he does here in quad coverage so one more play until the fourth quarter we're looking pretty right now 24 to 14 uh he ends up getting the first down you know, pretty good dot pass right up the middle, right over my user. Everything was perfect on that play. Again, Vic, all day to throw. He finds an open receiver is Marvin Harrison down to the seven. So he's sticking in the game. Like he is, you know, matching me punch for punch here. At least uh, he's making a little bit more mistakes than I have. Uh, he throws it away and uh, he's going to go ahead and take his chances on second and goal here. Again, Vic, all day to throw. We need to get some more pass rush going. Uh, finds Le'Veon Bell to the right, down to the five-yard line, only a gain of two. Ezekiel Elliott again up the middle, and he's going to get a gain of two again. So now fourth down and goal. Zeke with the handoff, wide open hole, and he gets the touchdown. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and take over here with two minutes and 52 seconds left. Sammy Watkins with a huge kick return knocks over the defender. I didn't even do a special ball carrier move. I just ran into him and knocked him over, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take over here. We have an open receiver, Sammy Watkins, in the seam. We're going to go ahead and take that. Tony Pollard with the handoff right up the gut. And we are gone for yet another touchdown here. So that is going to be pack number seven on the day. Again, if you guys want to, you know, break it down for 31 points, we scored 28 uh, on touchdowns. So that is going to be four, one on a field goal. That is five. And then the two interceptions, six and seven packs total thus far. 
Third down and 18 now for Michael Vick. He again has all day to throw. He's going to run around like a madman uh, and find an open sideline, chunking out those yards. Uh, he's only down 10, so he does have a chance. He does have all of his timeouts here. If he can get quickly into the end zone, he can make this a game uh, wide open. Greg Olson and uh, clock is ticking on him as Chris Berman would say. Tick, 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 tick. 52 seconds left. Michael Vick over to the left. Finds an open Greg Olson again, and he's going to go out of bounds at the four-yard line, and he is marching here fourth, uh, you know, fourth quarter, first and goal, finds an open receiver, Marvin Harrison on the right, down to the two, and Vic again here at the two-yard line, second and goal, all day to throw, has an open receiver just for a split second, and he guns it in there, and he's going to get the touchdown, but he does not get the onside kick. And we take over here, and we run the ball out. So again, guys, that is going to be seven packs for everything that we did in the game and five for the win, which is going to be 12 total packs. Now, what I ended up doing, as you guys can see here, here's all the packs here. So we had, you know, the touchdowns. We had the three interceptions, uh, the rushing touchdowns, and then the defensive, uh, you know, interceptions and whatnot. Um, what I ended up doing was I pulled seven packs instead of 12 i did one five pack bundle and two singles i should have done two five pack bundles and two singles so i was able to build up my training enough to get a random mutt hero card and this is what i pulled so saquon barkley uh is my new running back that is one of the big upgrades of today's video um you know all the cards i did not you know keep on my team i went ahead and quick sold them and i was able to get enough training to get a mutt hero pack and then yeah, i was able to get a flashback pack as well so pretty cool saquon barkley i mean i'm really happy with uh tony pollard um but adding saquon might be a little bit more helpful for me um especially because i i love to have my ability to uh not only truck players but also uh juke them out and saquon should be able to help me out a little bit with that um, I mean, again, it's just a running back. And this is the flashback. We got Brandon Brooks. So throughout the course of the pack and play season, if I am able, like I said, to quick sell enough players to get training, I'll be able to do things like this where I could get, you know, promo packs and stuff that I have in training uh, in the training store. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we got there. Saquon and Brandon Brooks. And I find it kind of funny. Like I was able to pull that Saquon out of the Mutt Hero pack. And then the one pack here for my two singles, I ended up getting a Saquon power-up. So, you know, maybe in the future, if I'm able to get enough training, uh, I'll just power up the Saquon. But I don't think that I'm going to need to do that. That Saquon by itself is really good. But, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, for every, like, 100 yards rushing or, you know, maybe for every two touchdowns I get with Saquon, I'll upgrade his power-up slowly and then, you know, fully upgrade him. Unless you guys just want me to upgrade him. Like, I'm not sure you know, what the ruling should be on that, since I already have the 91, uh, definitely let me know, uh, next single pack, we got Anthony Costanzo, so, um, a little bit of an upgrade at left tackle, uh, decent upgrade at right guard with an 87 overall, definitely gonna help me out a lot in the run game, uh, so here are the, uh, packs here, five pack bundle, which, again, I should have opened up two five pack bundles for a total of 12 packs, um, but again, I'll make that up in a, you know, upcoming video. Here's another elite. We got Miles Garrett. Um, and again, he's all right. Like he's definitely going to help me out a lot. Him and Daniel Hunter, uh, will definitely be good. You know, like a little good tandem for, you know, speed rush. Definitely like that. Um, and then we got a couple of golds here. I do believe again, this is like three episodes or two episodes ago, Miles Sanders. And, uh, looks like we ended up getting, a drew lock and then i think one more pack and that is going to finish out the episode so we ended up getting ourselves a sydney jones cornerback on the eagles so if you guys did enjoy this episode please go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you are in need of very very cheap madden coins if you are one of the people out there that likes to buy your coins Head on over to MMOEXP.com. Link is in my description. They sell the cheapest coins on the internet. Please be sure to use code Ryan, and you will get 5% off your order. I will catch you guys later. Peace.